Hello, friends and followers, and welcome back to a new project in the factory. In one of the last videos, I uh, painted the Smona Lisa. And it is so beautiful when you got a little bit of water in front of your wall, like here. And today we want to paint an optical illusion that is inspired by the artworks from Scaff. We'll show you some illusions of Scaff and also we'll show you the illusion that inspired me to paint what we want to paint today. It was this shark from 2020 that popped up in my TikTok last week that made me want to paint an illusion again. The last illusion videos on my channel are years ago, like the bus or the Porsche garage. <laughs> I really painted a lot of illusions for a while, like the bus station I painted in 2020 or so many electricity boxes that I transformed into a bookshelf, a piano or a gumball machine or whatever. Illusions have been fun to me ever since and I'm so happy to transform reality into something different today. And our victim, our victim for today is this monster. It's bigger than I thought. I thought it was like just this size. Okay, I'm happy that I took so many spray cans with me. And we want to transform this container into a shark tank. A new chapter in the life of the old sad container begins. 15 years he was standing here, sad and alone in the old factory. There is dust of decades of loneliness laying on him and today the day has come to let this container shine in new glory. So I applied a doodle grid to the container, searched for a nice reference picture of a shark and combined the reference picture with a photo of the container with the doodle grid on it. And I did this all in Procreate app on my iPad Pro. I think this is way more complicated than I thought. Shit. I wanted to make the shark more bulky and added some screws to the tank like it was made from steel and glass and added some bubbles to the water to make it even more realistic. So I took the iPad with the design on it and directly painted from the screen. There will be the one of his arms. Oh, this is funny, this is his eye. Look. This is I. Brilliant. There we got an eye. And after some minutes of sketching, finally it's time to bring some color to the container. To make the whole container look like flooded with water, I wanted to fill the background in a blue fading, starting from white over can to cool candy, bermuda and at the bottom it will be filled in signal blue. Okay, first step done. In this case it makes so much sense to paint the background first, because all this dust which I swipe off of the container right now would lay down in the shark otherwise and we don't want that. I always need to go back to the time lapse to see if it all works. And I <laughs> this looks, it looks already amazing. I could even leave it like that. So funny. This color is called dolphins. I don't know if this is 
respectless to paint shark with the color dolphins, but I will try it. <laughs> are, are dolphins the food of sharks? I think as well, right? Mm. They eat dolphins and uh, sea gulls. Sea gulls? Sea dogs? No painting Smo. Editing Smo had a long discussion about sharks and dolphins with Tösa afterwards. And dolphins are the biggest enemy of sharks. No other creature on this planet kills as many sharks as dolphins do. <laughs> I was really fascinated how it all came together. Because I wanted to paint on this container since I got the keys for this factory in December 2021. And if you got an abandoned place, a backside of a factory or any other ugly wall in your area and you want to legalize it, I can highly suggest you to go to my website smonova.de and check out the downloads section. You will find a street art permit approval text over there to legalize walls. It's worth a try. Just saying. And the download is absolutely for free and the text is translated already in nine languages. So let's make the world more colorful together. Even if the artwork already looks like if it was nearly done. I worked on the details for about an hour. Some reflections here, some teeth over there. And I dusted over the teeth with dark blue so that the back teeth seem to disappear in the darkness of the mouth. I worked on the sharpness of the eye and finally was able to add the water reflections on the back of the shark. Details like this make the whole artwork look so realistic. It was pretty hard to paint such a distorted artwork on a round and curved surface, so basically everything had to be crooked to look right at the end. But it took me just three hours and after that I have to say that I was happy. Yeah. It was way faster than expected. <laughs> uh, yeah, a big thanks to Montana Cans for supporting me with a lot of free spray cans for my YouTube activities. If you like stuff like that, please uh, like the subscribe button. I know you want to see it. This is the final result! And at this point I want to say a big thanks to my supporters on Patreon. Thanks a lot for supporting me with just 5 bucks each month to be able to create crazy videos like this. Thank you! It's really hilarious. Just from this angle it really works perfectly. <laughs> but, but when you go to the side, when you go closer... <laughs> He is so fat. He looks so fat from this angle. But, but even better, even better if you go to this, from this angle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he has such a short, such a short head. Oh my God. Oh my God.
It looks like... I don't know. I don't know what. Yeah, this is the problem with when you paint uh, illusions. They only work from one single angle perfectly and from, other ang from all other angles it looks so stupid. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's a dangerous, the dangerous shark. And from all other angles it looks like super stupid. The stupid shark. Okay, friends and followers, I hope you were a little bit entertained and uh, I hope to see you in the next project next Saturday. Goodbye. And a big thanks to my cameraman, Tizzy.